fighter is in trouble and you do not want me to stop the bout, you must show me clearly that you can and want to in the early going here. I think Holyfield looks pretty good. Well, that's important, John, because it's a 240 at the early stages of training camp, and then he came in at what looks to be a very good other corner, Tommy Brooks, alongside Don Turner in the corner of Vander Holyfield. With Marion Wilson. Prior to that, he had the rematch with Jesse Ferguson. It's the only way that he's going to get him tired. Good work from Ray Mercer there. He's answering back with his own jab and slowing down. Does so there, and a right hand by Mercer to close out the second round. He needs this to remain among the heavyweight contenders. Right hand after the double jab. There's a nice right hand to the body after the jab by Ray Mercer when Holyfield went to lift his left hand. Picks up here in the final minute of this third round. Uh, Holyfield countering pretty well, while Ray, Ray seems to be aggressive in, in spots like this. Both, I think Holyfield's looking to counter off, off his own jabs and off of Ray's aggression. Ray's got to back Holyfield up a little bit, put some pressure on his heart. What an exchange here in round four. Both men will chest and his, and his chin and force him to back up. Right now he's only making contact with the midsection. He had success with that earlier. Upstairs does Ray Mercer. Once again with the right hand. Robinson used to do. He used to throw, throw good shots at his opponent's heart. Holyfield caught him with a right hand. There's the jab that opens up a combination for Mercer. He'll, he'll go at this pace 100 rounds. He'll do it. Ray's got to bite down. He's got to dig down here and, and push Evander back and make Evander work. Good lead right hand from Mercer. Affect that Holyfield's conditioning. I think that's very sound analysis. Oh, very likely, but the last four rounds will be huge. Should settle down and pump his own jab. Nice sharp, short left hand by Holyfield as Mercer. Very close fight. Now that's the worst thing. Ray can't stop there. Good, good advantage of confidence, because as long as he's moving, taking little steps and letting his hands go. He's running it, but now he's getting letting Evander back in. Holyfield on the offensive attack for a moment, and then three consecutive right hands. Top of Holyfield. And now the referee, Ron Lipton. Blood is definitely going into the eye, but they're going to let it go. Where he wants him. He's definitely keeping him off balance. Holyfield with the right hand. You can't wait on the ropes to the banner, man. Good left hook. Can come back. Good left hook. Here comes. Oh, and the effects of that left hook. Looks like Mercer kind of just... So around that, Mercer was winning. Holyfield is going to take with ease. Mercer down for the first time in his career. John, watch for the left hook here. How do you pull it off? He just caught him coming. He does what Amanda, Amanda did what he does. He lets his hands go when you're aggressive with him. What's the best wake-up call of all for Holyfield? Now, you know, you let, you know, it's very realistic when the doctor comes in and they tell you to dig down. And he's definitely got a renewed sense of uh, urgency. If anything, Ray seems to be a little unsure. He's trying to get a new punching angle every few seconds. Left hook again comes in from Holyfield. One of the greatest rounds in heavyweight boxing history in Bowl Sense of urgency here. I, I would feel like he's got to feel like he's probably a little bit behind, especially with the knockdown. It feels like he's in control. He doesn't really need to get, get desperate or anything like that because he's not. Ray should be a little bit desperate. Mercer falls in with a right hand and then brings down Holyfield. Holyfield, he hears that 10-second clap, and it's like an alarm going off for 